the vessel. Good morning, boys and girls. It's good to see you here. How many of you know what this is? There you go, Aiden. Hi. What is that, Aiden? Of a potty puff? That nice. Okay. I, I, uh, some people call them loofahs or a shower scrubby. Or what do you do with this thing? You like hang it from the rear view mirror in your car, right? What do you, what do, you do, Madison? You do wash yourself, yeah, yeah. Kind of scrub yourself, get off the dead skin. Most of the dust in your house is dead skin. It's kind of gross. That's why bathing is a good thing. Okay, I'm, I'm encouraging all of you to take regular showers and baths, whatever is customary in your home. Yeah, so this thing can be very powerful because it can make you clean on the outside. Now, let's say you go home this afternoon and your parents ask you to clean up your plate from lunch and you refuse. And you go outside and you play with your friends. You come back and you realize that was wrong. You're like, you know what? That was wrong. I need that, that shower scrubby from pastor so I can clean the sin off. Does that work? No. You can't clean off sin with this. You can clean off dirt or oil, but how do you clean off sin? If you're not going to use a shower scrubby, do you need like a big brush? Maybe a hose? No? What, what can you do? That's a problem. Because you've got to be clean before God, right? All of you look very beautiful today. I'm impressed. What, what can you do to look good for God if you can't use a shower scrubby? Any ideas? None? Do you, got, do you guys know someone who loved you so much that he, he died for your sins? I do. Addison, Yeah? Jesus, nice, good job. Yeah. yeah, Jesus makes you clean, and you don't have to scrub anything. All he does is he says, I love you. Believe it. And then the Holy Spirit comes, creates faith, and then you believe it, and just like that, you are clean before your God. So when you sin and you do something wrong, instead of the backyard opening up and swallowing you whole because you disobeyed your parents, God doesn't do that. He forgives you, and he encourages you to listen to your parents. That's going to be a constant battle as you get older. Uh, maybe it's listening to parents now. It's going to be maybe it's being nice to your spouse every day. Maybe it, who knows? There's, it's a constant battle. People, Satan jumps for the fences the lowest. There'll be temptations the rest of your life, young one. But let's pray and thank God for cleaning us and ask for His help. Heavenly Father, we praise you for making us clean. We have nothing to worry about because we know that we can come into your presence and you hear our prayers. You forgive our sins and one day you'll take us home with you to heaven. All because we are clean in Jesus. Amen. You're excused to go to your Sunday school class walking slowly. <laughs>